If you ain't gang, don't come my way. Yo, your boy Biggie, man, done hit the headlines again. And from the looks of it, he just been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And when you think about Biggie, man, I think about a cat that was from the Brooklyn streets, kicking the freestyle, doing what he had to do to survive out here. And you know, people get caught up in bad situations. And that's what happened to your boy Biggie, man. He was caught up with Puffy, man, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get out the hood. Puffy introduced him to that goat, man. And Biggie signed that deal, man. And when he signed that deal, he signed everything over to that Lucy band. And the goat was just smiling and laughing at him like, <laughs> goat like in his mind, like, yeah, I'm gonna give him two albums, a couple of chips, a couple of cars, a couple of hood rats, and then I'm gonna get, take him on home with me. And that's exactly what happened to Biggie, man. Him and Tootie Pop had some so-called beef that was struck up by the Lucy and his goons, man, with the East and the and the West and all this stuff, man. And people picking sides of who is the best, the East or the West. And Tootie Pop wasn't even from the West. He was from New York. He was from the East side. But he claimed the California lifestyle. And you know, it was some beef struck up between them, between uh, Biggie and, and Tootie Two Pop, man. They... Said Tootie Pop supposed to have popped his longtime girlfriend, Faith Evans, man, and well, wife is that. And Biggie got mad and boom, boom, and that's a whole nother video. But Biggie and Puffy was jealous of Tootie Pop, man, and they always wanted to be on top. They got tired of Tootie Pop, you know, his mouth was loud. He had a loud mouth. Ain't you no. Know, Snoop Dogg, man, he wasn't no better either. And he was riding with Puffy then, man, because, you know, Puffy and Biggie were riding with the Southside Crips. And they was all in and on the ghetto, so the Southside Crips was in Vegas that night with Tootie Pop. And uh, we already know how that story went down. And then when Tootie Pop was out the way, which, you know, it shifts the balance, because you got to think about it, Tootie Pop and Biggie, was two of the, the most uh, talked about rappers in the 90s, man. They was on top of the rap game. And so when you take one off the rap game, you just shift to the balance uneven like a seesaw, in which that means these two got to go. And so Biggie, he didn't know what he was into it for, man, because, you know, when you, when, you, when you sell out to the GOAT, somebody can off you and get your fame, man. And that's what Puffy the Doodle Crumb Snatcher did, man. He, he got rid of Biggie and got his got his got his fame, got his chip crumbs, got all his positions and all this. Because when Biggie got popped and got clocked up out of here, Puffy blew up to a millionaire. Oh well, you might as well say a billionaire now. And he and he is the father of the, the Puffy the Doodle Crumb Snatching uh vicinity, man. He the one to initiate the youngsters in here, man. And that's what he did to Biggie. He initiated them, offed them, took everything, and sent Biggie on to Lucy world, man. What kind of friend does that? And then Puffy, man, he not he don't care, man. He just sitting back laughing and giggling and and probably you know talking about it like, man, I I really played, I really played Biggie. <laughs> And Biggie, man, I look at this Rock and Roll Hall of Fame situation. He didn't get nothing, man. Only thing he got out of Go Lucy was two albums, a couple bag of chips, a couple rusty, rusty females, and that's it, man. A couple cars, a couple houses, that's it. And two albums, man. Lucy played him, man. Him and Puffy. The deal was already struck up all before it even happened and when biggie was signing that deal i bet go loose in his mind was saying hey just don't know <laughs> yeah i'm finna give him two albums <laughs> and uh he not finna live to see 25 yeah <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, I'm gonna give him a cup of chip crumbs and hood rats and a couple of bags of crumbs of chips. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's how the goat talk. Played him, man. And only thing the goat promised you when you out of this world is fame forever. Like his name will live on forever. And that's all you're gonna get. You get a star, a couple of crumbs, a chip left for your family. Or, you know, or if a uh, puppy probably done took everything anyways, because when you, when you off somebody, you get their possessions. They got all this money for his royalties for his new album, Life Out the Death. Which, why would you name an album like that anyway? It's weird. I guess Puffy told him that. He was already in, working, up the, uh, working up the offering for the goat anyways. And that's it, man. He just got his name put on a rock, man. Biggie Smalls Velvet in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. For some money. And then, you know what I'm saying, I can't really blame them too hard because them cats grew up from the streets and they didn't have nothing. They didn't have nothing, man. They had nothing but crumbs, bro. Nothing but crumbs, man. They grew up like that. And so they had to do something, you know what I'm saying, but they didn't know. Getting themselves in a situation. That's why you see Tootie Paul talking against everything before he left up out of there. And soon enough, Biggie was finna start talking, but Puffy had to shift the balance back to the new way to come in, the 2000 era of music. It's crazy, man. But I don't listen to Biggie Smalls music because it's uh, it's dark and it's fruity, man. And some of the stuff he say, I just don't agree with it. Because you listen to that music, it does something to your brain. Then you'll start doing the stuff they doing. Remember that. Hey, shout out to Jeremy G. A uh, real true soldier. Been here for three plus years. Ever since I started. He already know. He even brought it up to me with the Tom Brady video I did. He said, man, I remember you doing a video on that a long time ago. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, man. My first video on this uh, channel was NBA Youngboy. And I said, yeah, that's my first one. That was good old days, man. I first started off, I had so much heat in the comment box. It was funny, man. <laughs> yeah. But I'm out. Word up.